Hi, I'm Mai Mai. Well, welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall the serpentine belt on a 2010 Honda Insight. Let's get right to it. All you need is a 14 millimeter wrench. So we have it right here. You want to identify the idler pulley, and this is where it has the belt tensioner. You want to put the wrench on. And in order to loosen it, uh, we'll, we'll go up here. In order to loosen the tension, all you need to do is pull it towards the rear of the car. And then you want to slide the belt out. Okay, and if you want extra leverage, you can use another wrench. Slide that onto the first wrench. Then you want to pull it back. And you want to slide it out from the, uh, the water pump pulley. I mean, the water, yeah, the water pump pulley. See from this angle? Where, what it looks like when you slide out from the water pump pulley. And now, you can release the tension. And you should be able to very easily slide it out from the rest of the pulleys. Now, if you want to make this whole process easier, what you can do is you can remove the uh, shield on the left side, which you access by removing the tire on the right side. It's not required in order to access the serpentine belt, but it does make the process of removal and installation much easier. So I recommend take off your tire, jack the car up, and then take off the shield. You just need to get rid of these fasteners on the bottom. Don't worry about the fasteners, you can just replace them with zip ties. So now, you want to take the serpentine belt out, just tug it out, and there you go. Serpentine belt removed. So I'm guessing that it would be a good idea to replace the serpentine belt. Uh, and if you do a job like this, it is best practice to replace the serpentine belt, but also the serpentine belt looks pretty new. I mean, just look at it. It doesn't look like there's any reason to replace it. So we're just going to replace it. So this is my first time installing the serpentine belt on this Honda Insight. I've done it on other cars, but this is gonna be my first time doing it here. Make sure that you take note that it goes around this pulley, around the crankshaft pulley down there, and around the pulley for the AC compressor. Now, the uh, it goes on the inside of the water pump pulley, so just make sure, because obviously it doesn't have any uh, threads on it. So, just start from the top, slide it through onto the bottom. And then I'm going to come from the bottom and angle it, because it's actually easier for me to maneuver the belt from the bottom. So we're gonna pull this down. We're going to slide it around the water pump pulley. Slide it, I mean, slide it on the inside of the water pump pulley. Slide it on the outside of the AC compressor pulley. Come back to the top. Now this is gonna be, oops, sorry. This is probably going to be the hardest step. Getting it around the belt tensioner, okay? And actually, now that we're here, I figure it's best to not wrap it around the water pump just yet, because that will give us enough slack to put it onto the idler pulley. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of um, tilt the belt onto the side so we can get it in between the water pump, uh, the water pump pulley and onto the idler pulley. Whew! We got the most hardest step done. Now we're going to take a 14 uh, millimeter wrench and pull the tensioner back and then we're going to slide the um not here then we're going to slide the belt on okay with this one like uh you know belt uh serpentine belts are pretty dangerous because they can get pretty tight so you want to use a long rod to sort of uh stick it back into place okay so you can do this two ways you can either use just this wrench, no, oh, oh, bad angle. You can use just this wrench, pull it back, and then use a bamboo stick to sort of slide the belt back into position. But instead of using the uh, bamboo stick, I'm just gonna give myself more leverage. So we're going to take a second wrench, slide it here, pull this back so that we can use our fingers to slide the belt back around the water, pump, uh, the water pump pulley. So slowly, gently let that down. This is a diagram of how the belt goes around each pulley. 
uh, in case you are uh, for your for your knowledge and it looks like we're pretty good yeah it looks like it is in the right place for all of the pulleys it looks like it's good for the crankshaft it looks like it's good for the ac compressor and the either pulley so now we have our serpentine belt installed all you have to do is put the tire back on put the battery connected and then we're good to go Nice. All right, so I'm Maimon, and today I showed you how to remove and replace the serpentine belt on a 2010 Honda Insight. Thanks for watching. Please like or comment, subscribe. Look at other videos on I and Maimon, especially the videos on the Honda Insight. This is my brother Oscar's car. We've done many repairs on this. Uh, go check out my video on diagnosing engine sounds. The problem with those engine sounds. Um, the problem with sounds coming from your engine for a Honda Insight. It's, a, it's worth a watch, it's very interesting, and I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman, and signing out. Peace. Okay, so now we're going to take off the serpentine belt. All I have to do is take a number 14 wrench, put it on the end of the idler pulley. Take a long rod, or if you have a second person, get them under the car and while you're pushing down on this either pulley, have them take out the belt from under the car. If you're by yourself, what you do is you want to take a long rod or some piece that will allow you to push the belt out from under the either pulley so that you can get it off. And you just want to slide it off of this pulley right here until you can fully take it off. Reach under the car and take it out. And while you're here, before you take out the serpentine belt, make sure you remember just how the belt went on originally. This is how it went on originally if you uh, forgot to take note of it. But after that, just take this out. And there we go. The serpentine belt is out.